My name is Curtis Salgado. I'm from Portland, Oregon, and uh, I'm a soul singer. I play R&B and blues and soul, and rock and roll and funk, and I play harmonica too. I started performing harmonica. I took guitar lessons, but the guitar teacher was a mean guy, kind of like Whip Flash, not so tough though, but he'd kick me. And I dropped the guitar, and my mother brought me home a book by Tony Little Son Glover called How to Play Blues Harmonica, and my sister bought me a little Walter record. And I was already listening to Paul Butterfield. After I heard Little Walter, I didn't, and nothing against Paul Butterfield, but after I heard Little Walter, I didn't go back to Paul Butterfield. I just focused on Little Walter, and then I discovered all the great harmonica players. You know, they say that uh, Ray Charles and Sam Cooke are the are the uh, fathers of soul music. Actually, to me, it's Thomas Dorsey, you know, and that's the guy who took, uh, who was a blues piano player who turned himself into a great gospel songwriter before it was termed gospel. I mean, in fact, he's the, I think he pretty much created the, the genre. And by writing Precious Love, Hold My Hand, Precious Lord, and uh, not Precious, Precious Lord, Take My Hand, um, he was a blues piano player that went into the church and he started sort of reforming and writing new spirituals which they tagged gospel and then Ray Charles came along and said I'm not a genius all I did was take rhythm and blues and turn it into gospel and just change the words from God to woman you know hey baby well Thomas Dorsey did it first but the other way around so to me Thomas Dorsey is the, is the father of soul music. I drank for years and did a lot of drugs and all that stuff. And I quit 26 years ago. And that's when I really started getting the spiritual thing, you know, the really try to treat other people and, and don't be, feel so hot about yourself. You know what I mean? Giving is more important than receiving. And it's all about love. And that's basically seeing the arts and seeing music and seeing what somebody's put into it and being able to absorb being on this planet and interchanging with people. In the, um, this is a crazy thing we're doing here. You know what I mean? I, what's the answer, you know? And I think the answer and the meaning of life is in between your ears. It's here. It's here. And music is the most important thing in my life. And I think it's the most positive thing that people do, making music. You know, don't be so quick to judge find out the story behind it but if it hits you and it you know as Bob Marley said if it hits you it feels all right you know then you know then music is um, you know that's what I wish to do it's like get out there and enjoy the arts basically enjoy life and don't be so quick to judge you know be patient try to see the other side Thank you.